Alright, this is today's lesson. Um, it's 7.2. You're going to want to pause this and copy this stuff down. This is tonight's homework. The extra credit, which I gave you today in school, or it is attached to the email that I sent your parents, is due Thursday. This Thursday, which would be the 11th. That is not optional. You must do it. Last week's problem of the week is due tomorrow. That's a new problem of the week, which I gave you this morning, or that was attached to the parent email, is due Thursday this week. That's the tied problem of the week. And I'll explain that to you tomorrow, to Thursday. Tomorrow, after we go over the homework and stuff, you are going to have a quiz on graphing and substitution. Now, you're going to pause and check the homework that was due today. This is page 380, number 1 to 9. Get that checked. Tomorrow I will answer any questions that you have on that. That was due. It was solving by graph. So use your calculator. Alright. The notes that I gave you today in school or that are attached to the email. There were two pages. The first page is just solving by substitution, which I'm going to do now. And then I'll stop this lesson. And I'll record the word problems in a le separate lesson. You'll have to watch both of them. Alright. So. Let's take a look at these notes. First example, is 3 a solution of this equation? 2x plus 7 equals 13. Well, if I want to see if 3 is a solution, I'm going to take 3, plug it in for x. So 2 times 3 plus 7, does that equal 13? So 2 times 3 is 6, plus 7 is 13. So is it a solution? Yes, because it makes it true. Okay, a solution always makes the equation true. Now, this one, is the point 3, negative 5 a solution of this equation? Well, isn't this an ordered pair x, y? So I'm going to substitute. 3 in for x. So 5 times 3 minus 10 equals y, which is negative 5. Well, let's simplify it. 5 times 3 is 15 minus 10 gives you 5. Does 5 equal negative 5? No, it is not a solution. So if you are testing to see if something is a solution, it's nothing more than substituting in and seeing if it makes the equation true. Last week, we did solving equations by graphing. We plugged these into our calculators and used the um, intersection uh, button. Today, we're going to do it by substitution. The steps are aligned, are outlined in your notes. Step one, write one equation in terms of one variable. Well, this one's easy. Y equals this. The first equation is already solved for Y. So, we did that. Y equals negative 4X plus 2. Then, step two, solve the other equation using either variable. So, our equations were this, y equals negative 4x plus 8, and y equals x minus 7. I'm going to take this, and I'm going to substitute it into the other equation for y. Let me draw that. I'm going to take this, put it into the other equation for y, because this is what y equals. So my second equation, y, which is 4x plus 8 equals x minus 7. You see what I did? I substituted this into the other equation. So that is using both equations. Well, look what I have now. I've got one equation and one variable. I can't solve two equations and two variables. So I'm putting the two equations together. Now, let's solve this. Add 4x to both sides. And I get 8 equals 5x minus 7. Add 7 to both sides. 5x equals 15. Divide both sides by 5. And I end up with x equals 3. So, my ordered pair is going to be 3 something. Well, once I know that x is 3, 
I'm going to take that value and I'm going to substitute it into either one of the original equations. I'm going to go into the bottom. So, y equals 3 minus 7. Okay, so once I know that x is 3, I'm going to substitute it into either one of the equations and solve for y. So I did y equals 3 minus 7, so y equals negative 4. So my solution for this system is the point 3, negative 4, and if you graph these two lines, they would intersect at the point 3, negative 4. Alright, let's try this one. A equals B. Well, the first one is already solved for one variable. So I'm going to take this B, substitute it in to the second equation for A, because that's what A equals. So B equals negative 7B minus 32. When you use the substitution method, at this point, you should have one equation in one variable, but it includes both equations. Let's solve it. I have 7B to both sides, so I get 8B equals negative 32, divide both sides by 8, B is negative 4. Well, if I do my ordered pair, A, B, you usually do it in order, uh, alphabetical order, B is negative 4. And look, I can substitute that back in up here. A is also going to be negative 4. So my point of intersection is negative 4, negative 4. One solution. All right, let's try this one. Here's your system. X equals 7 minus 1. This one already has one equation solved for one variable. So I'm going to substitute that into the second equation. 3x. So 3 times the quantity 7 plus y. Make sure you put parentheses around it. Plus 2y equals 6. I substituted. This is called the substitution method. <coughs> To solve this, I need to use the distributive problem. So I'm going to have what? 21 plus 3y plus 2y equals 6. Again, take a look at that. I now have one equation in one variable. Let's solve this. Combine like terms. I'll have 5y plus 21 equals 6. Subtract 21 from both sides. 5y equals negative 15. Divide both sides by 5. Y is negative 3. So, my point of intersection or my solution is something negative 3. Well, let's take this negative 3 and substitute it in here. X equals 7 plus, what way I believe that's X equals 7 plus Y, but Y is negative 3. 7 plus negative 3 is 4. So, my point of intersection is 7, negative 3. Okay, let's try to skip that one. Now, this one, number 7, is a little bit more complicated. All the ones that we did before, one of the equations was either x equals or y equals. Well, this one is not set up that way. So I need to transform one of the equations. I'm going to transform this one. Why am I going to do that? Because x is a by itself. So, let's subtract 2y from both sides. So the second equation is going to be x equals negative 2y minus 5. So step 1, transform one of the equations to solve for one variable. And it doesn't matter which variable. I chose x because it makes sense with this equation. Then, once you have this, you are going to substitute this into the other equation for whatever variable you solve for. It has to go into the other equation. So, 4 times x, but we just found x to be negative 2y minus 5. Minus 3y equals 2. Substitution method. I substituted this into the first equation. Let's solve this. I need to distribute. This will be negative 8y minus 20. Minus 3y equals 2. Solve this. Combine like terms. This will be negative 11y minus 20 equals 2. Add 20 to both sides. And I get negative 11y equals 22. Divide by negative 11. And I end up with y equals negative 2. Once I know that y is negative 2, I'm going to substitute that back into, I'm going to go into this. 
So x equals negative 2 times y, which is negative 2, minus 5. So x will be, this will be 4, minus 5, negative 1. So my point of intersection is negative 1, negative 2. I'm going to stop this down and then do a part 2 for the word box.